Fun fact, did you know if you own the Silent Hill DLC then entering the Konami code on the main menu, then pressing enter will give you a free in-game charm? See? Now you have the Vic Viper charm on all of your killers and survivors. You're welcome. Anyway, hello there! Welcome to another Should You Buy episode, and today we're talking about the newest female protagonist in the game. That's right, we're discussing Cheryl, also known as Heather Mason. Cheryl is the survivor included in the freshly released Silent Hill chapter, and for those of you that are new to the series, first of all, hello, my name's Earth to Lydia. And what we do here is we're going to be going over the selling points of her character model, her perks, and whether or not she's better suited to newer or more experienced experienced players. If you like this series and want to see me do this on any other survivors, feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments, and we're getting incredibly close to 2,000 subscribers, so if you consider subscribing as well, then that would really mean a lot to me. Leaving a like on the video also would really help me and the channel out too. But now, let's get into the video. So Cheryl's default character model is quite pale with a lot of yellow tones, so naturally she fits in best with the maps that reflect that. Think along the lines of Colden Farm, and you're blending pretty well among the hay bales. As for her character's voice actor, Cheryl is very quiet when injured, and has a very soft voice, making her slightly harder to track. Doesn't make it impossible to track her without iron will, but you're probably on the better side for it. Now let's get onto Cheryl's perks. Personally, I think her perks are a bit of an F you to the killer, as some of them prove to be hard counters to common strats that we see from killers, and even some perks. First off at level 30 in Cheryl's blood web, we unlock Soul Guard. Whenever you're healed or recover from the dying state, Soul Guard activates and grants you the endurance status effect for up to eight seconds. This can be useful both as a solo survivor and when playing with friends for these situations when you're picked up in front of the killer. If you're playing solo, this should allow you the chance to gain some distance on the killer and stop them from downing you again immediately, and even allows you to body block for your teammate if you think you're both able to escape. At level 35, we have Blood Pact, which is another obsession perk that reduces your chances of being the obsession. When either you or the obsession are injured, you both see each other's auras. Now this is map wide, so if you stay on opposite ends of the map and one of you starts getting chased, then you can use this to your advantage to make your next play. When either of you heals a health state on one another, you'll also gain a temporary haste status, which again allows you to stick a heal and get away with some more risky plays under the killer's nose. It isn't the biggest haste status, in fact, it's the same that Hope gives you after the last gens popped. However, this perk does deactivate when you become the obsession, so if you run a decisive strike or the killer has nemesis, then you won't be able to use this perk anymore, until somebody else becomes the obsession. Play with your food leather faces, rise up. Having said that, if you're playing in a survivor friends group and there are several of you each running this perk, then the perk will continue to give you information throughout the game. The final perk that we unlock at level 40 is Repressed Alliance. Those of you that hate going up against Pop Goes the Weasel will particularly enjoy this one. After working on a generator for a set amount of time, the active button will then allow you to block a generator that you're working on. This stops it from being worked on or by being kicked by the killer. If you're working on the last gen in the game and have it close to popping but know the killer's heading in your direction to take away some progress, then that's when you pop this perk and take away their ability to do that. It'll block the generator for 30 seconds, so in some cases that'll be long enough so that the killer no longer has Pop Goes the Weasel active, depending on how long it took for them to come over to your gen. And another survivor can swoop in and finish that generator if you can keep the killer in chase. All in all, I genuinely enjoy Cheryl's perks, and think that they make this one of the easier adept achievements for survivors. Cheryl actually has some other selling points that are currently unique to her and a big nod for Silent Hill fans out there. Legendary skins completely change the character model of whoever you're currently playing into a different person. And right now, Cheryl has a legendary skin for Lisa, the nurse from Silent Hill 1. At the time of recording this, no other characters in the game have this, so if that's something that takes you fancy, then Cheryl's your only option. If you're a big fan of Silent Hill, you'll probably jump at the opportunity to play Lisa as well. Therefore, if this is something that you want in the game, I'd highly recommend picking up Cheryl so you can do so. So, should you buy Cheryl May? Mason. Unlike other survivors that have made videos like this on, I don't think Cheryl specifically cases towards newer or older players. In all honesty, I think she's quite easy to pick up regardless of your in-game experience, but her perks would see the biggest benefit in survivor friends groups. When communicating effectively, all of her teachable perks give you a benefit that can directly counter a play that a killer's making, before they've even made it. If you're solo queuing, then these are still some pretty decent perks to give you information and give you a second chance. Ultimately, she's pretty good for most people, and for that reason, I would legitimately recommend Cheryl as your next purchase survivor, regardless of who you are. Anyway,
anyways, that's about all we have on Cheryl for one video. If you enjoyed this, I'd really appreciate if you subscribed to the channel and helped us to reach 2,000 subscribers. For those of you that don't know, I also stream more Dead by Daylight content full-time on Twitch as my job. I'll actually be pushing for partner at the start of July, so every single viewer greatly helps me out. And you can also interact with me directly over there at twitch.tv forward slash earth to Lydia. If you're interested in any of my other social medias, then they will also be in the description below. I just want to thank you so much for making it this far into the video, and I will see you next time, guys. Bye.